Hey guys, so today I'm going to be trying the foundation that has been all over YouTube lately for being the most extreme coverage foundation ever. That would be Dermacol. I'm sure you guys have seen this around, so today we're going to be putting it to the test. So if you're interested in seeing my thoughts and how it applies, just keep watching. It has a unique creamy consistency containing 50% pigments which hides uneven skin color and blemishes smooth smooths the skin and gives it a velvety matte appearance. Dermacol Makeup Cover provides the skin with intense protection against UV radiation with an SPF of 30, as well as against the harmful effects of the environment. It can be used on the entire face and body for color correction, lightening and, or darkening skin tones, or for professional makeup applications. It is long lasting and ideal for covering flaws and extensive skin defects. Okay, so I actually purchased this on an app called Mama. It's linked to the app Wish, um, and they both are highly, highly discounted um, sites or apps where you can get brand names for like $2 and you pay dollar shipping. Yes, they come from China, but this is the real deal. I also ordered an OPI nail polish from there. That's the real deal. You do have to watch out for some knockoffs, but still, the prices are so cheap that even if things end up being knockoffs, you're out like a dollar or two, and they're great about refunding. So if you guys are interested in checking out those apps, I will leave a discount code down below for 50% off your first purchase if you sign up and enter my referral code. Um, again, it's for the Mama app or the Wish app where things are highly discounted. There's beauty, there's clothing, there's pool toys, there's costumes, there's jewelry, anything you can think of on there. There's fidget spinners, anything you can think of on there is there. So go ahead and check it out, by the way not sponsored just wanted to let you guys know about it so that is where i got these i ended up ordering three colors 207 213 and 210 so from these shades i am going to go with 210 okay so i'm going to squeeze out some 210 on my little palette here and then i'm going to apply half of my face with a brush and half with the eco tools uh, sponge right here so let's try with the Artiste-like brush. Wow. Now I see why they are saying extreme coverage. I mean, look at this. I put on the thinnest layer and my face looks so smooth. Granted, I'm not using a heaping large amount, but still the coverage is really good. I'll be curious to see how it works with the other sides. I'm going to dot this around my face. It's very thick, as you would expect from a full coverage foundation. It does dry a bit fast, so just be aware of that if you are going to dot it around your face like I just did. It might be dry before you can spread it out. <laughs> spread out those dots here. That looks really nice. I'm just going to go ahead and use my sponge to kind of even out the other side as well. Take it down my neck a little bit.
So that looks really, really nice. I'm going to go ahead and go in with the 207 color, the lightest one, and see if I can just brighten up the center of my face and under my eyes so I won't need a concealer. So let's try that. Again, I'm going to use this brush. I'll just clean it off. Dot some of this 207 here. It might be a little bit too light for the center, but we'll make it work. I feel like the Dampen Beauty Blender takes a little bit of the shine out of the foundation. I could probably actually go darker. But for now, I think this is a good place to start. I'll zoom in so you guys can see what this looks like up close. It's definitely a dewy finish. I would say it definitely would have to be set. I don't really like the super shiny look. So I'm going to hop off, finish my face makeup, and I'll be back to show you what it looks like when it's all said and done. Okay, guys, so I'm back, and I did attempt to powder and kind of bronze up my face, and I just... I cannot move forward with this makeup. It is really bad. Um, I attempted to... Okay, so my under eyes were looking really crazy, really patchy, really dry, really chunky. So I tried to kind of add some moisture by spraying some Fix Plus and just dabbing with a sponge. And you can see what happened here. It took off a lot of the product. And my eyes still look ridiculously cakey and patchy um, around my chin you just see all the pores all the bumps it just looks like I have a lot of makeup on so is this an extreme coverage foundation it definitely is but it's almost too extreme for me like it's just no Maybe if it was thinned out with a serum or a lotion or added into something, I would like it better. But on its own, the Dermacol foundation is a thumbs down for me, unfortunately. Um, I will possibly try this mixed in with other products in the future, and I'll let you guys know if my opinion changes. But for now, this was a foundation fail. Hope you guys enjoyed this review. Um, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Okay, so I felt like this last part of the video was not enough of a review for you guys. So I am going to add a little bit of this into the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hydrating Tint because this is more of a light coverage foundation. And I will show you guys the finished product. Okay, so this is what my face looks like when I mix in the Dermacol with the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Foundation. I think that it looks much better than it did by itself. It's not as thick. It is still definitely a thick formula. You can tell that it's kind of already um, emphasizing the lines on my forehead, the creases underneath my eyes, even though I did use a different concealer than this this time around. Um, I think it looks really pretty. I do have all my face products on, my bronzer, my highlight, my blush, my setting powders. Uh, so it's definitely better, but I'll be curious to see how this wears throughout the day. We are going to an outdoor event tonight. So I'm curious to see how it holds up in the heat. I will try to do a check-in later on in the day, but if for some reason I forget or don't get a chance to, I will leave my thoughts in the description box below so you guys can see what my opinion is of wearing this mixed in with another foundation. You already saw that 
by itself it was definitely a fail for me so mixed in we'll see how it wears hey guys so this is the two hour check-in and this is in natural lighting i am pretty impressed with how this looks how the dremacol looks mixed in with the hot neutrogena foundation i think that it looks pretty found flawless um, I'm zooming in here so you guys can see. My apologies if you see cat fur. I was snuggling with my cat earlier and cat fur always sticks to my face. So I wasn't a fan of the Dermacol by itself, but mixed in with the Neutrogena foundation, I think that it looks pretty amazing. So I'll try to do a check-in with you guys later, but if for some reason I forget to, I will leave my final thoughts in the description box below. I hope you guys enjoyed. So this is what it looks like after 10 hours. Starting to get a little greasy here and right here. Still looks beautiful, but it's definitely settling into all of the lines that I have on my face and making them a bit more pronounced. But 10 hours, can't really complain. I hope you guys enjoyed this Dermacol review. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.